Hey guys, it's Sebastian, host of Ninth Island Connection, your weekly resource for all things Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. Also, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on Instagram, we're on TikTok, we're threads, we're Snapchatting. Uh, hit us up, we're Ninth Island Connection everywhere. So we're here at Caesars, but you already knew that because you click on this thumb, right? And you know, we've done so many Caesars videos. We're talking pools, all the different rooms, restaurants, gambling. We've done everything here. I cannot believe we have not done a room tour on the Augustus Tower. The Augustus is gonna be the one that's closest to Seven Stars and Diamond Check-In right by the Starbucks there. Also, right by the valet entrance that's on Flamingo Boulevard. That's where the Augustus Tower sits. And then just past that, you've got Octavia. So this is the first one closest to Las Vegas Boulevard. So we're gonna do a quick room tour. And if you guys have stayed at Octavia's and Augustus, I want you guys to comment below, what is the big difference here between these two? Because to be honest, I don't see very many differences at all. So one thing that I thought was interesting is that the Augustus Tower requires a $200 per night deposit Whereas all of the other rooms, we've stayed in Julius, we've stayed in Palace, we've stayed in Octavius. Um, they're all $100 per night deposit. This one is $200 and I really don't know why. Let's go check it out. All right guys, before we get into the room, this is room 3092. I know you guys like to know exactly the room that it is that you're seeing. So that's the room number here. And let's start with the entry. You know, it's, it's big, but it's basic. I don't really see anything special. It almost looks like Right over here, they should have like a little entry table or a chair and a little table or something because you really just have a big waste of space right here. All right, so that's it for the entry. Like I said, nothing exciting, um, but let's check out the bathroom. So this is actually nice because these bathrooms have jacuzzi tubs. They have big counters, big sinks, a separate shower. Actually really nice, let's go. So right when you walk into the bathroom, you've got the big stand-up shower. Right next to it, you've got one of the main reasons that we actually stay here, and that is this big jacuzzi tub. And then of course you've got your double sinks right next to it, which is really nice because you have a lot of space for all your stuff. And then you've got a private bathroom or toilet area over here, which I really like also because everybody can do their thing and you don't have to worry about you using the toilet. And if I'm being honest, guys, we just stayed in an Octavius room maybe two weeks ago, and this is actually pretty dated compared to the Octavius. And this is supposed to be most recently renovated. And like I said, it's 200 bucks a night, whereas Octavius is only $100 per night. And it looks like this hasn't been upgraded in a while. Let's head on down into the room. So now the first major thing that, that I noticed that made me question the deposit is this little closet where in the Octavius, you've got a longer, narrow hallway, but you've got a little desk a little counter with a mirror for makeup and that kind of stuff, just kind of chilling. And you've got a longer closet, like at least twice the size as this one. So that's kind of interesting. Let's go check out the room. Just like Octavius and Palace, you have much larger rooms. So I'm not 100% on the square footage, but this is a massive space here. You've got your one king bed right there or two queens. We always do one king. Got a little workstation over here on this side with a phone from, I wanna say 1985. <laughs> and then you've got your entertainment center. Of course, you're gonna have your bar and refrigerator. Let's see, let me get into this thing. There we go. Now, none of this is complimentary. Also, I know, I think Bellagio has a little personal shelf thing where you can squeeze a couple bottles in there or a couple containers of something. This does not have that, and you cannot take anything out and use it for personal use. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get charged for all of the items that you take out of there, even if you put them in. So just don't do it. What am I saying? Like, this is kind of dated. Look at this all scratched up up here. I don't know. Anyway, you got your TV. Now, this I did notice 
um, in comparison to the other rooms. This one has more furniture. So the other room on Octavia's side, you pretty much just have the big couch. This one here, you got a big extra chair and you've got a table and two chairs on this side. One thing that you want to keep in mind if you're staying in the Octavius Tower or Augustus is that even numbers, you're going to get a Bellagio view. Augustus Tower is closest to Las Vegas Boulevard, so that's going to give you a Bellagio fountain view as well as some of the strip. If you're on the odd number side, because remember our room is 3092, even number side, you've got this view. Odd number side, you're going to get a pool view. So either way, you're going to have a nice view. Either you've got the pool or you've got the strip side, but let them know what you're looking for. So you do have a Keurig over here, but you've got to pay for the coffee pods. The coffee pods are over there. They're going to charge you for those. So if you got some pods at home, just grab them, bring them in. You can use a Keurig. They're not going to charge you for using it, but they are going to charge you for the pods. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this one. This is a One King non-smoking in the Augustus Tower room 3092. As always, we want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts about Caesars Palace in general? What do you think about this room right here? Comment below so that everybody can get some more insight on Caesars Palace. And don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel. All we do is bring you Vegas videos, so why would you not subscribe to our channel? Take a look around. We've got some other Caesars Palace videos. We've done food, we've done pools, we've done other rooms here. So check out that particular playlist in the description below. Like this video, hit us up on social media, and don't forget, we go live every single Wednesday between 12 and 1 p.m. Vegas time, where we bring you an update on everything going on in Vegas that weekend. So we go live on Wednesday. We let you know what to expect Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday if it's a long weekend. And we're talking construction, we're talking news, we're talking airport wait times, sports, everything going on in Vegas that weekend so that you can have the best possible experience. We'll see you guys next time. Four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.